And when you're not worrying about the future, when you're not worrying about the past, those tend to be the happiest points. You're actually just in flow state. You're just being in the present. A lot of the time, those are negative emotions, positive emotions comes from people thinking of the future and thinking of the past. That's the only reason depression and anxiety exists because you're either thinking of the future or thinking of the past. And the previous day's lows. The main reason I get the previous day's highs and previous day's lows is because, like I said, the main thing I'm looking for when it comes to trades, I'm looking for a run of an old higher low where I'm looking for a trade into a higher time frame for value gap. It's not gonna be fun, it's not gonna be easy, but this is the life we signed up for and we gotta do what's required. It's about that time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's another day, and it's Saturday right now. It's pretty early in the morning, and I just wanted to let you guys know, today is one of those days where I woke up not feeling the best. I woke up not feeling motivated. I woke up not wanting to do the work. Trust me, I stayed in bed way longer than I should have. I didn't really say much. It was just one of them days where just not motivated and it happens. It happens to the best of us. Yesterday I was perfectly fine. Today I just woke up and it's just not one of them days. Crazily enough, today's the one sunny day all week that it might not rain and I feel the worst, but you know, it's something that can change throughout the day. Just because you woke up feeling a sort of way, you woke up in a sort of mood, it doesn't mean you gotta keep it that way all day. One of the things that I'm really trying to focus on today is getting back to feeling productive, get back to just feeling my mind and everything. I can do all the work I need to all day, but I don't wanna wake up tomorrow feeling the same way. I wanna get this shit over and done with. How am I gonna do that? I'm at the gym right now. I'm gonna put myself under pain. I'm gonna put myself in situations where I can't think about nothing but the present. When you're not worrying about the future, when you're not worrying about the past, those tend to be the happiest points. You're actually just in flow state. You're just being in the present. A lot of the time, those are negative emotions, positive emotions comes from people thinking of the future and thinking of the past. That's the only reason depression and anxiety exists because you're either thinking of the future or thinking of the past. Think about right now. What are you thinking of right now? What are you doing right now? All I'm doing right now is sitting in front of this camera. I'm thinking about nothing besides what I'm gonna say next. And that's just something that you gotta force yourself to do. I know that I know how I'm gonna feel after I'm out at the gym. I know how I'm gonna feel the fact that I started recording this video before even working out is gonna give me that energy I need to continue moving forward. And it only comes from experience. And I just say this to tell you guys that not every day is gonna be the most productive day. Not every day you're gonna feel the best, but it doesn't matter how you wake up. It doesn't matter how you feel. It just matters how you react to those emotions, how you react to the fact that you woke up feeling that way. People wake up like this all the time, but guess what? Some people woke up feeling like this today and they didn't go to the gym. They didn't take a shower yet. They didn't get out of bed yet. They're not gonna do the work yet. I can't let that be me. No matter how much I don't wanna do the work, no matter how much I just don't feel motivated to do it, I gotta do it anyway because I know I gotta do what they want to achieve what they can't. It's not gonna be fun, it's not gonna be easy, but this is the life we signed up for and we gotta do what's required. Simple as that, but about to get this full body workout on. I got a hoodie on. I got as, I got as much layers as possible, because just so you know, like I said, it's time to lock in. Hoodie on, headset on, let's get to it. Definitely one of those days, even though I already knew that, even me listening to this podcast versus, I could tell when my energy isn't there. I know when I'm at my highest potential, I know when I'm at my lowest. I'll be lying if I said the working out wasn't helping. I definitely feel a little better, but feeling a little better doesn't change anything immediately. Nothing, no change ever happens immediately. Think about it in the gym. And nothing is gonna change immediately. I might have a small temporary pump, but I'm not gonna actually get notice, noticeably different change off for it. It takes time. But later on today, we have a VIP session. We have a back testing session with the team. Besides that, I don't really have nothing to do besides give value and create content. It's the weekend. There's not going to be no trading. And the trading session, the back testing session is going to be late at night. So for the next like eight to 10 hours, it's just content, give value, focus on really getting my mental up so that I can come later on and actually give them the proper information because how my energy is, is going to change the words that I'm saying, my intention behind everything. I'm not gonna be in the best of moods to be talking for an hour. I'm not gonna have the same motivation to give value, to just give my full self if I'm not at that frequency. And I know I'm not there right now, so. We're just working on getting to that. And that's probably what today's video is gonna be. I'm not even sure the title, but whatever the title is, that's the name of the video, as you guys can see. And that's what we're gonna be working on today. Day by day, nothing happens overnight. It just takes time, bro. All those dreams you got, ambitions, goals, it's all possible. 
It's all fucking possible with the right plan. It's not going to be easy. Trust me. Every time I thought it got easy, I got humbled. Every time I thought it was going to get easier, I got humbled. A little word of advice coming from somebody that you want to be like, somebody that's in the position that you're aiming for, it doesn't get easier. It only gets harder. More money, more problems. More problems, more stress. More stress, you got to be able to handle it better. And it only comes from experience. The only way you're going to be able to handle stress is by going through it. But speaking of stress, time to do some burpees. Let's continue going hard. How I feel don't matter. It's about what I do that matters. What I'm going to do regardless how I feel. I just dropped my girlfriend off at work. Mood slowly improving. I will say, I have, and I'm gonna tell you guys when I get home, but first we gotta wash the car and everything. I'm gonna clean it inside and out. Cause like I did tell you guys in yesterday's video, we ain't get to clean the car and shit. But now we got some okay weather. It does say it's gonna rain 15 per chance at seven o'clock by that, but that point, I ain't gonna be out. I ain't gonna be out at that time, but it's 90 degrees right now. 90 and sunny. Got to go clean this car, clean the inside. I'm probably just going to clean the out. It's probably going to help with my mood more than likely. I even thought about getting a haircut. I thought about getting a haircut too. Let me see. I'm just trying to do everything in my power to get me feeling good. And if I could look good, I could feel good. Trust your appearance, how you walk around, how you hold yourself. It's going to be key. I don't know if he's going to have anything available for today. Usually on the weekends, he doesn't. It's a little bit last minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no availability. No haircut today, but it's all good. But... Let's go clean this car. And then I'm going to get back to telling you guys another little trick that I'm getting to try to make me be able to just work more productive and not be in such a shitty mood. A little trick to be able to get me that little bit frequency higher. Just to get me that higher frequency so I can go about my day and go about tomorrow actually doing what I need to. Because I'm telling you guys, your mood affects everything. And in business such as entrepreneurship, day trading, content creation, I am my business. How I'm feeling is going to change how I act. How I act is going to change how the video comes out. How the video comes out is going to determine if you like the video, you dislike, all of that. You know what I mean? And my trading, at least there's no trading. If I would have had a trade today, whoo, I would have been I would have been punching someone if I lost. But let's go clean this car. Car's clean, and honestly, right now I'm feeling, I'm feeling chilling. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of feel cool. I think after I take a shower because I'm sweating and it's hot as shit outside, and having all this on, going through that workout and doing that, it was damn near like a sauna all day. So me coming back into this AC feels amazing. And I couldn't open the windows in the car because I just cleaned it, so it was just straight AC in there. But it wasn't helping that much. It wasn't helping. If you know, Florida's hot. Florida's the hottest shit, and it's humid. But the one thing that I want to tell you guys that's been helping with my mood. I think I'm going to stop listening to music through and throughout because I don't listen to music like when I go to the gym and stuff, but I do listen to it like in the car on occasions, but I think I'm going to start listening to like the beats of it. So you guys like saw in the little clips before this, I have like music essentially from like the videos that I use on my YouTube videos that are non-copyrighted, like beats and everything with no words. I'd be, I'd be vibing to that shit. Like I'd be vibing just making my YouTube videos. Everyone be asking like where I get the beats. I just get them on YouTube. I'm not going to give you them because I like how... Is this unique, like each video is a unique one. I don't want to kind of have people taking it. It's out there though. If you go look for it, you could probably Shazam that joint, to be honest. But hey, it's out there. I don't do nothing crazy. I just go on YouTube, get free copyrighted beats, and we straight. But I was just listening to those in the car and, and kind of help with my mood. Because if you guys didn't know, like music really does play an effect on your mood. You could listen to a song that has a happy old good jolly beat. But it's all about what they're saying because you're taking in what they're saying. It's like affirmations that they're telling you and you're subconsciously. Like, have you ever listened to like King Von or Lil Durk or like Chief Keef? And then you get like that, you just get in that type of mood. You know what I mean? 
Versus when you listen to something like happy, you know what I'm saying? It just changes your mood. So if you could just listen to the beat itself, you can leave the words up into your, you can leave the words to interpretation. You might start freestyling, to be honest. That's what I was doing in college, freestyling and shit. But that's a little tip. That's something you could do. It's definitely going to help improve your mood because it's helping me. But I'm doing all these other things. Got my car clean. Got, so that makes me feel better. I was outside. It's nice out. I feel good driving a nice car. I had the nice car in the lot. I had the nice car in the parking, like when I was watching it. It feels good being I be able to. Being able to get outside and everything, just being able to socialize with people. That was one thing. I went to the gym that helped with my body. If you can get yourself physically in better shape, if you can make change to your body physically, you can make change to your mental because it's all together. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And then now I've just been creating content, giving value, and doing something that I love. Have purpose behind it. But everything you do has to have purpose. I may not have as much purpose when I sit there and take trades by myself. It's, it's very selfish. If I want to be honest, when I'm just sitting there not trading with anybody, say if it's just me, it's just... I'm just making money for myself versus say if I'm there with VIP, I'm able to explain what I'm doing. People are able to ask me questions and be able to socialize with people. It makes it so much more purposeful. You know what I mean? Same with these videos. I just love being able to teach you guys what's helping me and what's getting me to the next level. Because as you guys can see, the YouTube's growing, the trading's growing, everything's growing because I'm doing what works. And I'm just letting you know what I do. Simple as that. But right now, I'm about to chill for a little bit, about to drink some water, and then probably just walk these dogs and then try to figure out what I'm going to do the rest of my day. My girlfriend's at work, so... Just grind it from here. Got to create content, but now I just got to structure what I'm going to do next. Because I already have what I got to do. Like, don't make it, I don't want to make it seem like I don't know what I'm about to do. I just don't know what I'm about to do next. Like, I already had the whole to-do list for today that I still need to check stuff off because I already did some of it. But like I said, this is the work that nobody sees, but also the work nobody cares about. They just want results. Also, do something that you enjoy to do. Like, if y'all don't know, for the gamers, Black Ops 6 beta is out. I love Black Ops. This is something like... 10 years ago when I was playing Black Ops 2, around the time playing GTA 5, that's what all started this whole era of me wanting to make a whole lot of money. Because there was times where I was literally renting the games from Redbox because I didn't have the money to really afford the game. Granted, my parents probably could afford to buy me the game at the time. It's just they didn't throw out. It was the type of thing where I would have to wait for a holiday, wait for a Christmas or something because, you know what I mean? Video games weren't necessarily the best influence for me at the time. So them buying me a game just for me to spend all that time on it and not focus on the things such as school, it wasn't really in the best of my interest, but nowadays I can afford it. I pre-ordered this. $100 wasn't that bad. We're going to see if this ain't even that thorough, if Black Ops 6 ain't thorough, straight canceling that joint. No cap, but I'm going to enjoy it for a little bit, and then I'm about to get the rest of this work doing. Got my laptop here, so we're going to be editing right after. No kizzy. I'm about to get the call off started up with VIP. If you guys didn't know, we're about to be going over our back testing session. A lot of people may know how to back test, but not everybody does. Not everybody that joins VIP is an experienced trader. We have some people that are new. We have some people that do have experience, but don't have a proper system of back testing. You got to have a proper one step, one, two, three, four, five to when you're back testing to be able to make it so it's the same exact thing as your live trading. So you that you get the most benefit from it. So without all the yapping, about to get on into it. I'm about to make sure this is also recorded for all the people that aren't able to make it because it is a Saturday night. Not everybody's going to put in the work like I am and the nine people that are in the car right now. So let me get it recorded for them and we about to get to work like we always do and then end the night off productive. All right, what's going on with y'all? What's going on with y'all? We about to get it started in a second. I'm gonna give it like two more minutes. Let me get everything so I can have it recorded and all that. How's everybody doing today? But at that point, the first thing you got to do before you're even trying to back test is have a system. I have a system. I have a strategy. I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for price to run old highs or lows in confluence with other confirmations at the right time. My main confirmations is running an old high or low or a higher time frame for value gap at the right time. If I have those two things, one of those two things, that's a high probability chance. And if I'm just trading with the trend, that's three reasons. Three reasons is more than enough because I can promise you, you can have 20 reasons for a trade to play out. And it'll still be an L. So you'll just be sitting there like, damn, I thought it was bulletproof. No, it's not bulletproof. So I just stick to less is more at the end of the day with the confirmations. So what I do is I just go back to a random point. One thing you can do, you can use like the replay tool. Now, I don't want to say you don't necessarily need it. One thing I like to do, I don't like to go back into the basically time and then use the replay tool because it's kind of, it's not the real thing. Yes, yeah, kind of like it, but if you just press play, it's just a whole candle forms, and that's just not how it is. We just don't see a whole candle form. You know what I mean? It's not realistic. So what I like to do, I don't like to do that. This is my way of backtesting. I just go back to a random time. We're just going to go to a random time so people can't say it's fabricated when we talk about the things that are going to happen. This looks like a in a previous day's lows. The main reason I get the previous day's highs and previous day's lows is because, like I said, the main thing I'm looking for when it comes to trades, I'm looking for a run of an old higher low where I'm looking for a trade into a higher time frame for value gap. The previous day's higher low is a higher time frame 
higher low. It's just a high pr probability area of liquidity. There's likely going to be a lot of orders at the previous days highs and previous days lows. That's why I marked them up because I want to be aware of where they are because I can either use them as entries or I could use them as targets. The one thing you got to understand in trading, when it comes to an entry, when it comes to an exit in trading, they're all the same thing. All the entry is, the exit is, a TP, stop loss, they're all areas that you're expecting reactions. That's all it is. You can use an area to get in a trade. You can use it to get out. All you know is that there's likely going to be movement from that area. So after I have the previous days highs and lows, I have the Asian session. I spelled that all wrong. I'm going to just put the Asian range high slash low. And basically, that just means I have the Asian session high and low. Why do I have the Asian session specific specifically? Because the Asian session tends to be a session where there's a lack of volume. If there's a lack of volume, there tends to be consolidation. If there's consolidation, we have an idea on what the market is going to try to do when it comes to liquidity. Because when it comes to liquidity, everything that goes up has to come down. In the terms of if we're consolidating, before we get a big push up, we're more than likely going to get a push down. It has to go down before it goes up. You know what saying? It always gets worse before it gets better. It's a fact. It got to get way worse before it gets better. And in this case, a lot of the time, if there's consolidation, we could bet on the fact that, say, the overall trend was bullish. We can bet that there might be a high chance that we might come and run these lows right here. Vice versa, let's say if this was bearish, this may have changed the idea similar to this. Instead of going bullish, we could have something like this. Boom, it could have ran the high and then drop from there. But all we use the consolidation is, is as an area for potential trades. The same reason I mark up the previous days high is the same reason I mark up the Asian session high and low. done it was a great session great back testing session with the team it was about 51 minutes 51 minutes a straight value straight game it was one of the good ones i honestly didn't really feel like 51 minutes it was just kind of flowing for the most part answered some questions for them gave value but now i'm about to upload it for the people that weren't able to make it because as you guys know not everybody's gonna show up on a what is this 9 30 9 30 at night on a saturday it's not gonna happen trust me it's not gonna happen i even though i want people to show up I can't make them show up, can't make them do anything. So, about to upload this real quick. This is where the video is gonna come to an end. Just gotta get ready to have the session tomorrow morning. We're gonna go over our expectations. So, just gotta get some sleep, get this video uploaded, continue creating content, giving value, just like I love to do every single day. And honestly, I'm back. I'm back. Started the video, I was kind of in a shitty mood, but right now I'm back. <laughs> honestly, I forgot I was even in a shitty mood. We about to just get to work, get some food, and stay productive. I'm telling you guys, there's no reason to stay Discipline. There's no reason to stay depressed, stay anxious. You can fix it all. Just got to put the work in daily. Stay productive. I'll see you guys tomorrow.